Okay, we're just taking a quick little spy down the bell hill shaft. This is not how we're getting in the bell hill at this time. As you can see, we've got this big cable down here. It doesn't feel like it's hooked anything, but it might just be loose at the bottom. I'm not for sure. It's cool that it's still in place. This track, as we'll talk about, is a really wide spaced, which tells me that they're using really large cars. It's a really big track. Um, it's gonna be kinda hard to see, but there's a large tube down here. This is solely for fresh air to shoot down to the mine, which tells me that there's a pretty deep entrance, or a pretty deep shaft down here. So we're gonna go in, there's some adits on the backside and get into these workings and kinda show you what we see from there. Okay, so we're here at what is, for all intents and purposes, the back door of the Bell Hill. Uh, very, this is a large mine. There's been a lot of production. We have, like we said before, been waiting for this for a long time. Beautiful, beautiful site. You can see right here, again, big, big rail. There's a lot that went on here. This, uh, your timbered little entrance here, um, is still in great shape. Just needs minimal work be ready to go and you can also gate from in here so keep the other people out of your workings uh, for right now let's go in and show you around a little bit super cool so for us here at gold rush expeditions one of the big things we really like is the history that is associated with this Mines like these are why the West is even out here. They're the reason that environmentalists have a road to come out and tell us that it should be a wilderness. You can't replace these kind of writings. They're our, our equivalent of Indian writings. Go ahead, send me hate mail on that. This is our history. What you see right here, R-I, maybe a G, maybe an O, A-R. These are all likely the guys that worked this site or people that came in later on and did some work here. Like I said, this is the Bell Hill Mine. There is a lot of history to this mine. Just a, a beautiful big site to let anybody like the BLM or somebody else try to destroy this and lose this. This is it's amazing. This is the reason we are out here. This is the reason that there's roads out here. This is the reason that there was farms made out here to give food to the miners so they could sell stuff. I mean, everything in the West has always centered around mining and mining is what has grown the West. That's one of the reasons we do what we do today is to try and bring that push of mining back, let people actually make a living the way they used to make a living, like uh, Mr. Rygar Sr. maybe here? I don't know, super cool stuff. Let's go on in. Hey look, there's a Steven Searle. Maybe a Searler. Maybe a Searle like Matt in the office Searle. Matt that tells us where we can come out into these hills, Searle. Super cool stuff. Let's move on back. So we're here in the Bell Hill still. Massive mine, if you haven't mentioned that. This is, sometimes we see the top of a decline. And you don't actually get to see what's coming in and alongside. You're kind of in the middle of a decline here. This guy goes down and from what we can see, probably get 120, 130 feet. They're looking for more fluoride, that's what they're finding here. Um, there's a few things we can grasp from this. This right here, that you can see some broken ties where they're kind of pushed out and crushed out. And the fact that there is an opening up top tells me that people have probably been throwing rocks down here. Yeah, it's probably like the first coolest thing that some people think when they get to a mine is, hey, I should find the biggest freaking rock I can and throw it down the shaft and see what happens. Well, when you do that, you destroy and break things that are down below, like this ladder. That's an easy place for the rocks to come in and land, and there's no other real reason because some of them are broken, and some of them are fully attacked. Anyway, so this ladder comes right in between these tracks. So take a look at these tracks. There's one, and there's one. Now that's probably a good two feet, two and a half feet wide. That gives you an idea of how big the car was that was running up and down here. Think of how big of an ore car your two, two and a half foot wide ore car is gonna be. So, a lot of stuff coming out of this. Super cool mine, we're gonna continue on and show you more of it. Okay, 
we're still here in the uh, the back door of the Bell Hill, as we're going to refer to it. And uh, if you've watched and you're getting any, educa any education, you're starting to know what these are. You can see they're made with a carbide light. Not a very good marking either way, but basically it's saying how many loads of muck of ore, whatever, basically that's coming out of this orbit. So very cool stuff. It kind of lets you know, you know, that there has been good production, which we already know from massive rails, from the cuts, from the, man, just the, yeah, there's a lot of cool fluorite in here and a lot of other minerals and probably a lot of barrel. Um, we are right by Topaz Mountain, that's a total tangent, but there is all that barrel and other things out here. So let's move on. flashlight right here. Here's some more of that rich purple fluorite that we've been looking at. See that vein? See it comes down. It looks like they've lost a little bit of it here, but then we continue down. Now we lower it on. Basically you can't really see, but there's just a little pit about 70 feet down. There's a drift that cuts into it and the fluorite vein comes right up here again. And we're looking, it's what? maybe three feet wide as it works its way up. Very cool. There's a big rock up there. See that big rock? This is why you wear a helmet. So if you're in here doing your mining, you're gonna clean up your mine like you should be. And that'd be probably one of the first things that you're gonna remove. So we're gonna work our way down the rest of this. There's a really good breeze going here, which really doesn't do very well on video. It's hard to capture breeze on video. <laughs> but uh, the way this walls, there's air coming from all over. So here is the pit we looked at from when we were up top, looking down. Notice this little drift here coming out. There's a big drop off, otherwise we'd jump out and take a look here. But here's the drift that you could see from way up top. There's more floor height coming up, side, up the side of the mine here. So yeah, for Gold Rush Expeditions, I'm Corey Schumann and we'll see you the next site. talk a lot about winches and not to be confused with winches but winches. This is a small winch and it has serviced this little section of the bell hill but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick like rundown of how things work because you usually don't see them in place. This would have been your drive wheel. This is going to get this big gear moving. You can see all the little dirt points and a little piece where you can put some uh, oil in there. Unfortunately it's all kind of seized up. It did use a lot of oil, which is what this is. It's basically just to keep that, when that wheel is spinning, from spraying on you. Over here is your brake. So once you slow this down, you would lock your brake down as well. This is unfortunately also seized in, but you can see it's your basic drum design. You've got two big pieces that lock in right there. You've got a couple of reduction gears over here. And then you can see you've got your motor over here. This would give you your power. There's a big power takeoff here, big PTO, that runs all the gears here, and here's your motor. Your motor appears to be all worn off. You can't really make out what that is, but it's your, basically your standard car motor. If you look at it, that's your bell housing at the bell hill. That's the starter motor, just like any old GM. You've got your exhaust. This is a car motor bastardized to run the winch. Very common. Easiest way to get a motor up here would be to drive the car up, take the motor out, boom, put it right in here. And then that's why you see cars sometimes just randomly strewn about mine size. So quick little bit on winches and 